my buddy asked me uh, a couple months ago to go look at a 2004 Nissan Murano that he was thinking about buying, as is from a car dealership. Um, I put it on the hoist and uh, looked it over. It needed a little bit of exhaust work, brakes, tires, O2 sensor for the catalytic. Not a big deal. I told him roughly what the price was to get it safetyed. Um, he, he made a deal with the uh, dealership, bought the car, brought it to get safetyed, and they found this um, subframe for the engine was rotten. Now, this was a common problem. Now, the, the frame looks good enough all the way around. Now you can see where, where things are bolted on. It's a little rusty here and there. This is Canada. We get a lot of salt on the roads. What I didn't know is that the air conditioning, AC condenser, and the evaporator leak water in one spot and it rots it from the inside out. Um, whereas not on the other side, nice and solid. So he brought it to the mechanic who uh, apparently this is a common problem. Took a hammer, poked a hole in it, and said you need a new subframe. Uh, I quoted him $2,500 for a subframe and I felt kind of... Uh, um, like an idiot that I didn't catch that. But anyway, we found one out of Wreckers. I had to go through three different Wreckers to find a decent one. All the same problem. They look good from the outside, but they rot from the inside out. So this is Nissan Murano 2004. I don't know if it's uh, any other body styles, but if you do have that car or thinking about buying one, just really look. Um, it's the passenger side at the back of the subframe. So just keep an eye on that. So follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. <laughs>